The ocean is mostly dark, so you'd think the animals here wouldn't bother spending energy on something as useless as eyes. But you'd be wrong. Many plankton can see. In fact, eyes have independently evolved in the ocean multiple times. But these eyes work a little differently than the ones you're using right now. Before a barnacle settles down onto a rock as an adult, its younger form relies on eyesight to navigate life while floating in the plankton. For a barnacle larva starting out, one eye spot is all it needs. While the baby barnacle can't form a complex image, its eye can detect which direction light is coming from. This comes in handy because it spends its days and nights migrating between the depths of the ocean and the surface, staying hidden in the deep dark during the day and coming shallower to find food when the sun goes away. At its next stage in life, a barnacle needs to up its vision game to find a suitable place to settle down for adulthood. Now called a cyprid, the larva has two eyes, one on each side of its transparent shell. Better vision is critical to scoping out a home because the choice is permanent. What isn't permanent is eye placement. Eyes can migrate. This baby fish has a familiar shape, but as this fish grows, one of its eyes begins a journey across its head to join the other. This is a flatfish. As adults, the flatfish lose their transparency, sinking out of the plankton to the bottom of the ocean, where their newly camouflaged skin makes them almost invisible once more. Their eyes now sit on the top of their heads, giving them a 360 degree view as they blend into the ocean floor. Another way to get wraparound vision is to have a compound eye. Having hundreds of lenses per eye gives this squat lobster larva the ability to see in all directions at once. That comes in handy when a predator could come at you from anywhere. All these lenses come at a cost, though, because compound eyes produce fewer details in an image. It's a good thing shrimp larvae don't need to read signage. Did you know you don't even need a brain to have eyes? These red-eyed medusa jellyfish have a circle of more than a dozen light-sensing eye spots around their bodies which helps the jellies know when to migrate up to the surface at night to feed and when to go down to the depths for safety during the day. These jellies also reproduce within an hour after the sun sets. So knowing night from day helps them spawn the next generation of red-eyed medusa. Even in the darkness of the ocean, eyes come in handy to find food, to avoid predators, and to know when it's safe to swim toward the surface and when it's better to sink back into the depths.